And you may know ramps to be deliciously pungent, but did you know that they could also help with high blood pressure? 12 News' Barbara Ron spoke to an associate professor at WVU who started to dig into the properties of ramps that may help thousands of West Virginians. Having grown up in West Virginia, Melissa Ventura Mara has always been around ramps and believed their distinct flavor punch also had nutritional benefits. Couldn't find any papers that had been done on the health benefits of ramps in humans. We find many on garlic and on onions, but none specific to ramps. Around four years ago, Ventura Mara gathered a team and got a grant to research the health-promoting properties of the leaf, stem, bulb, and whole ramps. Flavanols that were most prevalent are quercetin um, and camphorol. And so those, in fact, do have, um, in studies, blood pressure lowering effects. Ventura Mara and her team turned the ramps into powder, and the next step in the research will be clinical trials, where around 60 people with prehypertension would take half a cup of powdered ramps dissolved in water each morning and night for 30 days. I even got a taste of what participants would experience with this green concoction. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. I like it. Although it was important to include the whole ramp to analyze the nutritional value of each part, Ventura Mara says they still practice sustainable harvesting. So we, we did it for a one-time purpose, so we have the ramps that we need. We harvested a not more than a tenth of one cluster, and we found a large area where people could spread out and not be close to each other. The U.S. Forest Service says you should only cut one leaf and leave the bulb and second leaf to continue growing, and harvest about one-tenth of a patch so you can continue to reap from the plant's benefit in the years to come. In Morgantown, Barbara Ron, 12 News.